Hi, this is Dr. Joseph Sarkisian. In this video, I will present a series of three zirconia implants being placed in an older gentleman. My implants of choice here are the amazingly versatile Swiss manufactured Z Systems uh, zirconia implants. So zirconia is a fully metal free ceramic and the company offers multiple options to fit your needs including one piece, two piece gum level and two piece bone level systems. As always a 3D cone beam study is made and a tray is fabricated for the initial osteotomy. Before the flap is laid the entry points are marked with the laser. After the flap also use the laser to create the bone indents. To study their locations before using the pilot drill for the first few millimeters. Before or after the pilot drill, I use the water lace to also level bone irregularities or spicules. At this point, I have discarded the surgical guide and used the zirconia metal free burrs with depth stops. I usually take the x-ray measurement after the pilot drill is at a depth of around 2 mm shorter than the planned depth. I then have some leeway in making changes to the angulations, the depth or distance between adjacent implants. Here I am using the water lays again to clean out and trim granulation or undesired tissue under the flaps. After alterations are made and the final depth is achieved, I just progress with the zirconia burrs to the correct diameter, always using the stops. At this point the speed is reduced to 200 RPM and throughout the steps I frequently probe or sound the walls and the floor of the osteotomy to detect possible perforations sideways or just uh, proximity to the uh, violar nerve. I use ozonated sterile saline for frequent irrigations between each steps. The bone tapping is carried out at 20 rpm The countersink is needed for the gum level implants and just making sure you lean the burr lingually if you are on a slope. My preferred instrument for implant placement is the manual anthogear device set at 30 newton centimeter. At first I was planning to place gum level implants in all three sides, however as it turned out the osteotomies were still too close in proximity. Therefore I opted to use a bone level one in the middle which does not have the white collar. In the final x-ray I am totally happy that I found a way out of the proximity dilemma by adapting and reaching for a bone level implant. These are the approximate position of the implants we just placed. So we don't want anything to touch these implants, even when he's chewing upon function, this may press down. So we have to make sure that there is some support on the ridge in this area. And we have to grind away at least two millimeters of this to provide the relief over the implants. The white acrylic is trim and it was added and built up and it's slightly short of the occlusion because we don't want him to chew very heavily on this side so that we don't get that sinking effect which would then bang on the implant every time he ate. And this is made of uh, 60, 60 thickness Essex material and it was just made over a study model before we placed the implants. Lost his teeth. 
He has to wear this 24-7 for at least two months. He can take it off a couple of times a day to rinse his mouth and to brush and floss his teeth. And he has to clean the inside of this appliance and definitely not remove it while he's eating. So it, it'll look a little more like a denture, but it's not going to touch your upper teeth that much, okay? So despite this raise, try to chew on this I side. Chew on this side yeah. anyway, so that's 95%. Great. Okay, perfect. Bite down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feels good. All right.